We've heard a lot of talk recently about caucuses and primaries, especially the Republican ones going on in Iowa uh, that were in New Hampshire and now to be in South Carolina. There are a few things that seem pretty obvious. It's political, there's debating, there's voting going on. But you might be seeing all this on the nightly news and wondering, well, how exactly would you explain a primary and a caucus? What exactly are they? Well, this lesson is a short refresher course and what you need to know just in case Jay Leno comes jaywalking down your street and asks you what a primary and a caucus is, you'll be able to answer. And more importantly, when you turn on the nightly news, you will know what they're talking about. So this is a primary slash caucus. All right, so you might be looking at this yellow funnel and wondering what the heck does cooking in a funnel have anything to do with politics? Well, here's the thing. You start off with a big group of candidates. You have Donald Trump, Michelle Bachman, Herman Cain, uh, Santorum, Romney, Huntsman, Paul. You put them all here in the top, and people don't like a few people. Someone drops out, someone gets kicked out, someone doesn't get enough votes to continue, and you have your one candidate who will go on to the general election. So that's how a primary and a caucus works. P uh, political parties will use the primary or the caucus to figure out who is our best chance at winning the general election. So think of the Democratic primaries in 2008. It was Hillary Clinton against Barack Obama and they were really you know, going at it and nobody was quite sure who would win and then obviously you know how that story ended. So the exact same thing is happening right now with the Republicans to find who is the ideal candidate. So think of all the Republicans who are currently in the running in this year's primary. We have Mitt Romney, the agreed frontrunner. There's Santorum, who got second in Iowa, Ron Paul, John Huntsman, etc. These guys are all competing to be that one person. So what's the difference between a primary and a caucus if they do essentially the same thing? Well, they do do essentially the same thing. They both work like that funnel, but this is a primary. And this is a caucus. Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Santorum, 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 Santorum. All right, so maybe it's not quite like that. But a primary is where you have statewide secret ballots. You put them in your ballot box, and they're counted up. A caucus, on the other hand, is more like a town hall meeting. A lot of people will get together in one area, think of a library, a school, a gymnasium, what have you. And they may show their support for a candidate actually vocally by raising their hands or moving to different parts of the floor. So that is the difference between a primary and a caucus. Now, primaries are way more common, maybe because it seems a little easier to count up who's the winner when you have <laughs> ballots in a box than people moving around. But there is also two different types of primaries. There is the open primary and the closed primary. So an open primary means that if you're a Democrat but you just really feel like contributing your voice to the Republican primary, you can totally do that. And if you're a Republican but you want to vote in the Democratic primary, that's also fine. And an independent, you can have your pick. Now I guess with that, that there's always the possibility of something like this happening. I belong to party A, but I'm going to vote in party B's caucuses and primaries so that the most stupid, unqualified person is voted to be the party B nominee. And then my party, party A, will have every chance at winning. <laughs> All right, so yeah, admittedly, that hasn't happened too much. It would take way more than one person to, to get a really bad nominee for your opposing party. And Harry Potter glasses that you stole from the feeder do not make a political saboteur. But still, just in case, I suppose you can have a closed primary, which means pretty self-evidently it's closed. If you're a Republican, you stick with the Republicans. And if you're a Democrat, you stick with the Democrats. So that's the difference between a closed and an open primary. So and that, in a nutshell, is the primary and the caucus. Pretty easy, eh? Now, the choices of the voters in the Republican primaries coming up in South Carolina may not be quite so easy because this race is complicated not only by the huge number of people there are, but also the fact that the front runner, Mitt Romney, a lot of people just don't like him that much and they're searching for alternatives, people like Santorum or Ron Paul, etc. So that's complicated. A lot of candidates, not too many have dropped out yet. Plus, there's complications with um, the level of conservatism that people are exhibiting, especially in this year of you know, Tea Party and everything. And 
You might have heard these mysterious words bandied around a bit on the nightly news, political action committees and super PACs. So I will be dissecting all that in this next episode of Nail the News, but for now, I'm Adora Svitok, helping you nail the news.